Now I have this uh, cutout in my basement floor where the shower drain was supposed to be. I have to reposition it uh, to center it in uh, my new shower design. I've rented this uh, demolition hammer. almost done here I just have to clean up a bit and I'm um, down to the plastic and uh, so I'll be able to to just dig up and place my drain in here so it took uh, 20 minutes with the demolition hammer to uh, finish my hole so now I'm ready to install my drain now I've installed my drain pipe uh, all I had was the uh, uh, an ABS drain pipe sticking out here I added uh, these two uh, these two uh, pieces and an elbow under my uh, my drain, my uh, shower drain. Uh, with my level, I made sure I would, my water would be going down. I also put a damper barrier to replace the one I removed uh, by um, because I had to dig out some of the gravel, so I replaced the damper barrier, and I installed my flange right away i solvent welded it into the drain right away because i had the cement lip that was right next to my drain so i knew it would be right above be right above my cement uh, otherwise i saw on a youtube video that you could actually surround your drain pipe uh, with a um, abs piece and then pour the concrete around it and uh, once the concrete is set you can actually cut off whatever is above the cement and then solvent weld your uh, flange uh, i used uh, i had this uh, piece uh, all all uh, bought and ready to go if ever i decided to do that uh, this is an abs uh, four inch coupling because <coughs> four inch abs coupling because it is for a four inch pipe uh, the diameter inside is four inch and a half uh, so it was perfect for uh, and and the uh, flange fit in perfectly inside but I didn't need to do that because I had the cement my cement was very close to the drain and I knew it would be sitting properly on top the flange would be sitting properly on top of the cement so so all that's left for me to do now is to pour in the concrete so I've decided to test my drain to see if there's any leaks before I put my uh, concrete in. Everything seems to be going quite well. Okay, in order to fill up my my whole, uh, my whole cement hole in my basement floor, I will be using the cheapest uh, concrete mix I could find. Uh, for uh, more than two inches of thickness so it's the multi-purpose uh, all-purpose uh, concrete mix uh, that I'm going to be mixing in my uh, barrel. Now this is the the result of the uh, of the cement. I'm going to cover it up with a damp cloth and some plastic. It has to be covered and kept humid for three days. 
um, not too happy with the result. It's level with the floor, but it's uh, uh, except around the um, the uh, drain itself. Uh, I'm gonna fix that when I do the uh, pre-pitch, uh, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but it was uh, rather difficult, and my best friend ended up being my uh, being my uh, paving stones uh, to uh, to to bring it all down uh, into the hole. So not too great there. Um, so pre-pitch is next.